In this video, we're going to look at how we can be better organized in Office 365 by using font, font size, and color. Hi, I'm John Grubb from 4KCC. If you've been to our channel before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Also, as you go along, if you learn something new, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up icon. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. While you might not get 400 emails a day like I do, the more emails we get, the more difficult it is to organize them. So I like to use color. If you look, you'll see that I have three emails with three different colors. The first one is green, then one is pink, and one is red. When an email comes in based on what I've set up, these colors appear, and it makes them stand out from all the rest of my emails. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to do that. However, I'm also going to show you that you can use not just color, but you can change the font, etc. Here's an example. I want emails that come from Joyce Grubb to stand out. You can see right now, her email is just in the list of 10 others. I want them to stand out. We're going to do that by making a change in the color and the font and the font size. The first thing we do is we go up to the View tab. Once we click on that, we're going to go over to the Current View section and click on View Settings. When we do, the Advanced View Settings window pops up. You can see there's lots of things to look at, but for this, we're going to look at Conditional Formatting. In this window, we're going to add a new condition. We click the Add, and we're going to give it a title. In this case, I'm going to say Joyce. Now I click on Font. Here, I can change the font from the default font for Outlook, something that will stand out when her emails come in. I scroll up and down until I find the one I want. I click on it. Now I'm also going to change the color. So this is a drop-down menu, and it has different colors. Some of them, as you saw, I've already used. Red, pink, green. For her, I'm going to pick out navy. Now I could just say OK, but I'm going to change the size of the font. I'm going to choose big. Now I click OK. Now we have to create a condition when that font color and size and font itself will show up. When you look at the filter window, you can see that I can pick different conditions. When there's something in the subject, certain words, uh, who it's from, who it's sent to, where I'm the only person on the two line, or that's a drop down menu also, or the time it comes in. But in this case, I want everything to be from. Now I could put from Joyce and her email account. The thing is that Joyce has multiple email accounts. So instead, I want to say from Joyce Grubb. And when I do that, it's going to make the color and the font and the font size come in based on if the email is from Joyce Grubb. Once I have all that worked out, I just click OK, just click OK, and then I click OK again. The great thing is Outlook will automatically go in my inbox and it'll find emails from Joyce Grubb and make the changes. So let's take a look. You can see there's Joyce Grubb. It's in navy color. It's a different font, and it's a different font size. So it's an easy way to organize your emails and make sure that you don't miss important emails from certain companies or from certain people. Because, like I said, if you get a lot of emails, it can become very confusing. This is going to help you. Font, font size, and font color. Very easy to do in Outlook 365. 
That's it for this video. I hope you learned how to better organize your Outlook 365 emails by using font, font size, and color. I also hope you'll come back and see us again. In the meantime, take care.